Our next award is the second Peabody for this dramatic series. I'm happy to say on NBC, it constantly approves it upon its impressive record of achievement and gritty realism. How's Patrick? He's done the surgery. Oh, but how is he? He's been in there so long. It'll be some time before we know. But these the two gentlemen are detectives. I'm Detective Bayless, and this is my partner here, Detective Pemberton. Mrs. Gabarik, Mr. Gabarik, we're from the Homicide Investigation Unit uh, of the Mrs. Baltimore Garber, City Police. We need both you and your husband to sign these papers. You're a homicide detective? Yeah, we just need to ask you about what happened today. These are simply standard consent forms authorizing us to treat Patrick. But you are already treating him. Yes, so but somebody we got need, killed we over there today, huh? To I miss getting these forms. So we hear about your son. My son's fine. Uh, you just said he was in surgery. Yes, he is, and we need you to sign your permission. Well, then why are two homicide detectives here? Mr. Clark, this is just routine. What is routine? For, for who is this routine? Any special shooting incident we're called in to investigate. Well, my son is hurt. That's it. All right? You understand that? Are you telling us Patrick is going to die? No. Well, wait, wait, then, then you tell me that he's okay. No, everything possible is being done for your son. Where is me? Tell me that Patrick is okay. Robert, you can't see him. Tell me that he's okay. Robert, you're going to hurt me. You're hurting me. Mr. Kabart, listen, this isn't going to do any good, all right? This isn't going to help your son. Why are these people here? Why are these people talking to us? Under whose permission? Hmm? You got a job to do. You can't wait, huh? You got no respect for, for what the two of us are going through? You want to do your job, huh? My son was shot today. Accepting their second Peabody, executive producers Barry Levinson and Tom Fontana, and one of the stars of the show, a son of New York, Richard Belzer. Hey, um, uh, three years ago when Homicide was an idea for a series from David Simon's book, I spoke to a friend of mine who claims to know everything there is about television and what makes a successful program. He said, what's it about? I said, it's about <clears throat> homicide detectives. He said, well, here's what you need to do. First rule, make sure everyone dresses cool. I said, well, this is about homicide detectives. You want to talk, he said, you want to talk a, you know, reality or you want to talk about something that works for the audience? You got to dress cool. Two, it has to take place in a cool city, some kind of place that looks nice. Florida, Miami looks good. You can shoot in New York. It's glitzy. It's rough, but it works. It's pretty. Or best of all, Hawaii, because detective shows in Hawaii always do well. I said, but this takes place in Baltimore. He said, why? Hawaii, because it's pretty. And if you've got a show that deals with you know, detectives, you want to have it in a pretty place. Well, we didn't do any of those things. This was his rules about what works for television. We believe that Homicide ultimately would be a show that would be a little different and that we would really try to deal with some of the problems that take place in our society. We would try to deal with the cause and the effects of violence and the people that have a service and have to go out day in and day out and deal with some of the worst aspects of things that happen in our society and to be able to find a way to make it work for an audience. And we were lucky in that NBC stood behind the show when we struggled initially, and that uh, Warren Littlefield and Don Olmeyer and Bob Wright stood behind the show as we struggled to find an audience. And for that, I'm very, very thankful. We have a terrific cast and crew, and uh, I'll let Tom Fontana and uh, Richard Belzer speak to that. But to uh, all of you at the... Uh, at the Peabody, I have to thank all of you, and I, and I really thank the writers and the producers and the actors of Homicide. Thank you. Uh, I actually wasn't going to say anything, but uh, Henry Brumell, who's one of our other executive producers, couldn't be here today because it's Bring Your Dad to School Day, and his son Willie demanded that he be there instead. Uh, Jimmy Oshimore is in Chicago. Um, and um, we have sitting down here the rest of the crew, uh, Jim Finnerty, Gail Mutrix, Debbie Sargent, Jorge Zamacona, Julie Martin, Anya Epstein, oh, and David Simon, who wrote the book, who's now writing for us. He's on vacation. Thank you to all of you and to all of them. Hold it. I want to, uh, I'm here representing the actors on Homicide, who all apparently have work and I don't. Um, 
But I, I'm deeply honored to be, a, I'm a performer, and when a performer uh, crosses over into, into this world of, of uh, such prestige and, and such uh, humanity, it really makes me proud to be uh, on this show and in the business and to uh, uphold certain standards that not only are entertaining, but also people can learn from and, and maybe respect each other a little more. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Tom. And thank the Peabody Award Committee. Thank you.